may panahon nga ako mag-auga sa akong pagsimba kanimo o Diyos ko kung akong hinungduman ang mga nabuhat mo dili ko makapugo pagkai kanimo the Exodus story, you remember, God called Moses to go to Pharaoh in Egypt and there to deliver his people out of Egypt. They cross over the Red Sea. They get into the wilderness and there God provides for them by raining down manna from heaven in the mornings and 
quail in the evenings and provided them fresh water. We see as we scan in John 6, many things that connect us to that beautiful story in Exodus chapter 3. We have Jesus crossing the sea to go to the other side. There have, there have been amazing signs and wonders. You remember the amazing signs and wonders that were delivered to Egypt uh, that caused Pharaoh to let the people go. There are crowds of people, of course. Jesus goes up into the mountain as Moses went up into the mountain. It's Passover time here in John chapter 6. And Jesus goes into the wilderness and he's surrounded by people and with God's provision provides bread for the people one more time. You don't really need to be Sherlock Holmes to make that connection and to figure that out. This is Exodus take two. And it's a beautiful story. The feeding miracle at the beginning of John 6 is at the heart of this great I am statement of Jesus <clears throat> that we're considering this day. And think about it. The scale of this miracle is incredible. The disciples doubted whether or not Christ could actually provide and feed that many. But Jesus knew exactly what to do. He took the bread as we will today. He gave thanks. He distributed it to his people. And God met their deed. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. As we give thanks over the bread and we break the bread this morning and we give to God's people, God knows your need and God has promised to provide for your need. Yes, We see amen. it over and over and over again. And our connection with this story goes all the way back to the Old Testament. How beautiful it is. The miracle is said to be a signpost of what really satisfies people. But this miracle is not just about providing bread, what Jesus does. It's designed to say something about Christ and what <laughs> only Jesus can offer us. Now the crowds in today's passage would have been living from uh, hand to mouth. Uh, as many families today live from paycheck to paycheck, they live from day to day, moment to moment. So having someone like Jesus around to provide bread for them must have been wonderful, right? And instead of that being the reason why they followed Christ to the other side of the lake, Jesus said, you didn't follow me across here because of the signs and wonders and the great miracles, but because I broke the bread. You see, we can feel sympathy for their situation, but we need to realize that they were missing the central point of Jesus' miracle altogether. Verse 14 shows that they recognized Jesus to be a great prophet. They said, surely this is the prophet who has come into the world. But they were far away from truly understanding the reality of who Christ was, even though he said, I am the bread, bread of, life. of life. In verse 30, they ask him, what sign would you give so that we may see it and believe in you? My goodness, what about the signs they already saw? What will you do? In other words, our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness, as it is written. He'll give them bread from heaven to eat. So what marvelous sign are you going to provide for us this day? This shows that they're still looking or a sign from Jesus to prove that he is indeed the Son of God. Either they've forgotten the miracles Jesus just performed, or most likely, they just could not see the connection. I am the bread of life. They didn't understand what was going on around them. They couldn't see who was standing in front of them. They could not work out what <clears throat> they really needed in life to fulfill and satisfied, their understanding was clouded by unbelief. And this is why I'm so glad that Jesus was ready to help them. Jesus was ready to show them that, that what their real need was. In verse 27 and 28, as you'll read it later, Jesus says, Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him... God the Father has placed his seal of approval. 
And they asked Christ, well, what must we do to do the works that God requires? In other words, what must we do so that our life would be pleasing to God? And Jesus answered, the work of God is this, to believe in the one that he has sent. I am the bread of life, Jesus says. Verse 33, for the bread of life that comes down from heaven gives life to the world. Amen. In essence, Jesus is saying, you're in the right place, but you're here for the wrong thing. I wonder how many people who come through the doors of churches all across America are in the right place, but they're there for the wrong thing. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Truly, this miracle is about the gospel of Jesus Christ, the good news of Jesus Christ. This miracle and the miracle in Exodus wilderness are not just two dimensional closed system miracles but that provide a physical need but they always point to something greater. Amen. Jesus takes the bread. He blesses it. They ask what sign will you give? And Jesus must have scratched his head and said, what sign do you need? I am the bread of life. The miracle is about Jesus, the great I am, the provider, the one who can satisfy our soul and the one who can fulfill every desire. Amen. If Jesus is only a vending machine that distributes God's blessing then he is nothing more than a government-assisted program, just one of the places where people can go to get their need provided for. Amen. But if every blessing is in Christ, yes. do you believe that? Amen. Every blessing from a lady who's taken love and just got through chemotherapy, Amen. Yes. Through men and women who have gone through cancer and come out on the other end. Yes. And they're still here. For people who are trying to make it from one week to the next, not really sure how they're going to pay a bill. For people who are dealing with constant medical issues that seem to be a source of great emotional distress. Jesus is saying, I am your bread of life. Amen. And I will not only feed you, I will nourish you, and I will strengthen you, and I will be the one that will satisfy every desire of your soul. Hallelujah. That's what he offers. If you're trusting in anything other than Jesus, the bread of life, you're only receiving false satisfaction. There was a song in my childhood that said by the, uh, a group, uh, Jim, help me out. You can't read my mind. Nick Jagger, the Rolling Stones. I can't get no satisfaction. Right. If you can't get no satisfaction, you're not getting who the bread of life is. For Jesus said that I am the bread of life. And if you believe in me, you'll never be hungry. You'll never be thirsty. For I'll satisfy those desires. We need to keep running to the promise. I am the bread of life. This morning, We'll feast upon Jesus, the great I am, the only one who can really satisfy our hunger, quench our thirst, and satisfy our soul. Amen. Jesus, the bread of life, invites you to come so that he can be your all in all. Let us pray. Holy God, we rejoice and the goodness that you provide to us, the bread of life. Thank you, Jesus.
as you have so many times lifted up the bread and blessed it, and gave it to others, some recognized in the breaking of the bread who you were, others did not. Amen. Lord, help us to be in the right place for the right reason. Yes. yes. And that is to receive what only you can give to us, eternal life. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. Normally we will go through the great thanksgiving. This morning, uh, Jonathan has feeling well. He has a sore throat and he's sitting in the back. So thank you, Jonathan, for coming and being here as he's not be able to help us with the great thanksgiving this morning uh, but i'm going to do the prayer of consecration and we'll skip the long great thanksgiving blessed, blessed are you jehovah god king of the universe that brings forth the wheat from the earth he broke it and he gave it to his disciples and he said take and eat for this is my body given for you do this in remembrance of me Amen. likewise after the supper he took of the cup and he blessed it. Blessed are you, Jehovah God, King of the universe, that brings forth the fruit of the vine. He gave it to his disciples and he said, Take and drink, for this is the cup of the new covenant in my blood, poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you shall in remembrance of me. And so in remembrance of what Christ has done for us, we give ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. You remember? Christ is died. Christ, Christ, Christ is risen. Christ, Christ, Christ will come again. again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ that we may be for the world the body of Christ redeemed by his blood. By your Holy Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your holy church and through your Son and the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Now with the confidence of the children of God, let us pray. Our Father, Father who, who art, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. At the altar, uh, Rail, we have a tradition. If you would like to leave uh, a, a love offering, it goes into the altar fund. We have people uh, who find themselves in temporary financial difficulty. So if you're ushering or you're assisting me in Holy Communion this morning, would you come and kneel at the altar? Uh, mm -hmm. And wonderful. And uh, Max, would you help me this morning? Get your little uh, hand sanitizer. Okay, thank you. Go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank you for you are the bread of life, and in you we are satisfied. For you.
you are the only one who is the giver of salvation. Arise and go to that hope. and praise for the offering of the body and blood of Christ. He is our hope. He is our hope. says, the scripture in the psalmist says that you are the stronghold of our life and whom shall we be afraid of. Though the enemy surrounds us, we know that you are the defender and you set the captive and saving us thousands of dollars which we needed. I also want to remind you, Wednesday night classes and because of we're uh, looking to uh, be careful and cautious with our expenditures uh, at this present time, if you're in need of a nursery, nursery is from birth until three years, uh, uh, through three years. Uh, if you need nursery on Wednesday night, there's an announcement in the bulletin. Please call ahead of time so that we can have someone available. We do have paid staff, but there's been t many times to where we've had, we've paid staff to come and there'd be no one in the nursery. On Sunday mornings we'll have nursery here. But Wednesday night and other activities in the church, if you need a nursery, and you'll have to contact church, the church office and let us know. We'll make sure that that is uh, provided. Men's Club dinner uh, will be uh, Thursday night 
I uh, want to remind the men to come out Thursday at 6. Team Challenge will have our program. The end of the month, uh, we go, we take our fish fry to Team Challenge. Uh, and before you leave, we have taken all the yard sale stuff that was left. It's still in the fellowship hall. If you brought anything, if you would, we want you to go back and buy it and take it back home. <laughs> okay? So before you leave and before you go out the doors, there's stuff in the fellowship hall and there's some nice treasures in there. Take a look. You can also come Tuesday morning uh, because it's going to take us a few days to get stuff out and, uh, and peruse and look around if you've got somewhere you need to go after church is over with. Thank you for coming. God bless you. And may Jesus, the great I am, the bread of life, satisfy your every desire. Go Amen. in peace. May the peace of God be with you.